Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. It is the same day as the last video. Um, this one I'm going to be posting for Friday. Um, it's the second half of my fruit garden. And um, if you look carefully and if you've seen my previous videos, uh, my boyfriend came out and we moved some things around. Just because that long flower bed uh, with the poppies and the forget-me-nots, they were not getting enough sun. The forget-me-nots barely has been growing and they should be twice the height or almost twice the height. So I decided to put it in the forefront along the pathway, which is right there. So it's along the pathway and we had to move the white the blue barrel with the baby's breath we had to move that over and then we filled it in with the white half barrel which that one is the one the raspberry that's not growing and i suspect it's from a lack of sun um so we moved it there um, we'll work on that uh, probably later on like not it this week or next week it'll be beyond next week um and then the chamomile i still have to cut back but i did move the chamomile forward and the baby's breath has been moved in and forward so there is a big gap behind it between the barrels and the fence the for the bird sanctuary and that is um just because that pine tree or whatever it is, spruce, is so big, it's putting too much shade. And so some things need more sun. A lot of the things in my garden needs full sun and it's just not getting it. Um, I also moved the little barrel, that one right there, with the geranium and the cornflower because the geranium um, if you remember on a previous video, the, I was saying the one on my deck, the geranium is bigger and it's blue. It's starting to bloom. This one's not. So I'm thinking where it was, it wasn't getting enough sun. So here it's going to get more sun. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the chamomile. We're going to cut it back and put those fence around it. Um, or maybe we won't, I don't know. It's not as if it needs it right now, if I'm cutting it back. The, the two mints have to be planted, uh, like added the pots that I bought. Um, what else? Oh, and I do have two marigolds that I'm going to be putting in that long planter in the middle. Um, the forget-me-nots are blue and the poppies are white, pink, and red. So I figure the only one that's missing is yellow and orange, which is marigolds. So I have a tall one and a low one. I'll put them both in there. There is something growing in the front, but I do not know that it's calen calendula. It probably is not, but it does have the long wavy leaves. So I'm going to leave it. We're gonna wait and see. I have lots of other things to do in the meantime. And if it's not, I'll pull it. If it is, then we'll have two marigolds and a calendula, right? They're all gold and yellow. All right then. So I guess we'll start with chamomile and then do the mint. Chamomile we're cutting back. So I just need pruners and I'm going to move you closer. So there is the chamomile. And we're going to give it a haircut. 
see, and like this, you can walk between all the containers too, which means it'll be easier for the trimmer. Because right now, there's a lot of spaces the trimmer can't get to. All right, so now we have to determine how far back are we gonna trim it? I did not Google it. I have no idea what is the norm. So, I have no idea. I guess I could just dump it there for now. I don't even think these pruners are any good. I don't know because a lot of these have gone to seed. I don't know that it's still drinkable. I have to Google that because I don't know. So that's why I'm not collecting it and going to give it away. Because my understanding is most things when they go to seed, they're not edible anymore. And that includes drinking. I left the fence on because it's easier to prune it if it's standing up, or at least I think it is. Oh, it smells just like chamomile. It smells so good. Really makes a mess though. I should have harvested it and then dry it and give it away. Just like I said in the previous video, I have lots in the house and I don't even drink that much chamomile. It's more for the birds because they bloom pretty quickly when other things aren't blooming yet. So I grow it mostly for the bird, uh, no, not the birds, the, the bees, because they're flowers. All right, I think I can, oh my God, remove these fence now. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is between these two, I'm going to put a fence in here. I'll have to get the hammer and hammer it in. 
and then between these two maybe a little to the side so anyways I'll do this on another video it's not that it's needed anymore because I've cut it all back so now I'm gonna give it a burst of fertilizer give it a good watering and it'll come back and grow again and then probably end of August I'll be able to do it again all right so next we're gonna do the two mint so for that um, I don't really need to add much soil cleared off my table so I'll do it on the table there Where's my shovel? All right, let's see if you're focused. Yeah, pretty good. All right. Remove all the weeds. Okay, so we're just adding this to that. These are peppermint. Last year's peppermint roots are in here. And this is this year's that I bought. Um, this could be peppermint, but it could be lemon balm too. It's similar in the leaf pattern. Yeah, I'm not cracking any roots. So I'm thinking the roots in this area, either there was none or did not hold up over the winter so we're going to plant this one right in here um, oh the bone meals in the container See, I didn't forget this time. I always forget this stuff. Okay, tag 
goes in on the side. It has a nice root system. So it's good. All right. So we do have a bit of room to add that sheep manure, peat moss, and perlite mix. So let's do that. Sorry, I know I keep going in front of the camera. Since that long bed is here now, there's no room to pass the wagon really. So I have to put it on this side. All right, here we go. All right, he's planted. We just got to give him water. And I'll give him water after we do the other one. So I'll put him back over here. And I'm trying to make it so there's room for Scott to go in between, or even I could do it. I could go in between with the trimmer because we were having a whole bunch of grass that was like a foot, foot and a half. It's just because we couldn't get to it. So now with the trimmer, we'll be able to get to it all. All right, so now this one is English Mint, also known as Spearmint, same family. So, or I shouldn't say same family because all mints are probably the same family. It's the same uh, species, variety. Anyways, so we need to dig a hole. Yeah, there's no roots over here. Oh, look at that, how brittle. Just falling apart. Oh, we don't need that. All right, put the first one in. These pots are really, really flimsy. Like, look at this. You could fold it, it's so flimsy. Ooh, look at the nice roots on that one. Just in the corners, I loosen it up. You end up breaking some of the roots, but just be gentle.
All right, now another one here. Oh, oh it smells like gum. Spearmint gum. Oh, I love the smell of mint. Doesn't matter what kind of mint it is. You know, honestly, I should have a big half barrel like those over there. Just with mint. Smells so good. Even in the house, I use it in my uh, diffuser. I love peppermint. So we're going to put this in here. There we go. Now we're going to add some of that soil. Now remember, this soil has the sheep manure in it, right? Okay, I did it again, didn't I? I bet you, you guys know what I'm talking about. What did I forget to do again? I didn't forget in the peppermint. Just in the spearmint, didn't I? Uh-huh. Oh, I love that smell. Every time I brush my hand up against it, I can smell it. Oh. And we need some of this. This I forgot to put in the peppermint, so we'll go do that too. And then we just have the marigold and then water everything in. And then this side is done. I wanted to uh, do that to here. Get it starting again. I don't think it really needs it, but it doesn't hurt. All right. So the only thing left is the marigolds. which is right here. I think that's about right. All right, so now we'll plant those guys. It does fit well, a little tight but it does fit through here nice okay I need my chair Pretty 
And you know, I kind of like the idea that this is not too tall because remember, I put sticks inside and table scraps, right? I think this one was just the sticks. It was from either the cumin mill or something. And uh, so once it decomposes and it, it, it the soil packs down on it, if you look, it's a like, what, like an inch and a half, two inches down. Ooh, Mr. Spider. Like two inches down. Okay, he's dead now. Um, so you do have to add soil, right? Even in the regular planters, the soil will pack down. Um, I want to get a, a three-tong, um, like a fork, but not like the big pitchfork, like this size. But you can get it with just three tongs, and it's only about three inches long. Because when you go around the plants, you can go like this, right? And move the soil about. And then you can add perlite, you can add uh, sheet manure, or worm castings, whatever you decide to add to it. And you're just upsetting a small area which means you can go between plants whereas this is actually scooping it so this is not as good for that so I'd like to get one of those things all right so I don't know how deep I can shovel like to make the hole for the marigold because I don't know if the sticks are still underneath, right? Well, I haven't hit any, so, so far we're good. Um, this variety is Taishan Orange. Taishan Orange full sun annual which we know that there I don't know if you can read that that's what this marigold is squeeze oh look at the root system on that um what do we do first a bit of bone meal Then we plant this in. I'm not going to worry too much about the roots. I am going to add some. Actually, you know what? I'm going to add some of this. because the soil is really wet. Oh, I don't think I finished my story about, uh, it's nice having things here, like not always everything so compact. Um, the reason why I say it's nice sometimes, um, having uh, some open space and, and having that three finger tong thing is because you can add this type of thing the perlite peat moss and sheep manure right i have it pre-mixed in the the tote but you can add that in to enrich the soil so you don't have to um you know like dig it up and and not only that but in my in this one's case you can see how 
it's three sections, but they're all interconnected, right? So if I put in here, like let's say two inches deep of this soil, when you water it, it starts moving into the other spaces and fills in the other spaces. So as this soil starts getting lower and lower because the, um, because the um, sticks are decomposing, it's being replaced by this that's in this side. It's gonna, by watering, it's moving it over. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because there's all these clovers in here. Like there's tons and they're mixed and mingling in with the forget-me-nots. So it's hard to see where their base is and then pull them without affecting the forget-me-nots. Because they're, they have long skinny branches. Well, for now, I'm just going to pull it this way. I don't want to remove my forget-me-nots. They're so beautiful when they start blooming. Anyways, that one's planted. Now we're going to do this one. Yes, Mr. Bumblebee. Mr. Bumblebee, come looking for nectar. All right, so now this one. Oh, I think I hit some uh, twigs on the bottom. It's pretty mush though, it's more fibrous than twigs. Look at the root system on that. I don't even know that I yeah look at that isn't that amazing all right so oh it's too dense I'm just gonna leave it it'll find its way around Um, we got some grass growing here too. Yeah, I just came across a stick here. It's a pretty thick one. All right. Yeah, 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 I know, I forgot. It's all right. stretched like that my hip is still healing doesn't hurt put a little extra over there now I still have two different types of fertilizers that I have not used yet and I think on an earlier video I had said I like having variety because every one is a different formulation. So I like to switch it up. Once I'm finished setting everything up and planting everything, 
I'll probably go around with miracle Grow, and then about a week or two after that you'll see the plants will start lagging and that's when I'll give them the chicken poop because the chicken poop oh my god just gives them a boost And then I'll go back to the Miracle Grow probably for the rest of the season after that. All right, so now we're going to add more of the mix. Some over there. Don't forget, water always goes downhill and it takes the soil with it. So, it doesn't matter how full I plant, like add soil here, it will go into the neighboring compartments. some in there too. It's definitely definitely going to help the plant, right? See if we can do some of that for the poppy too. All right, I think that's enough. All right. So as far as I can tell, this whole fruit garden is golden now. Just that one raspberry we have to figure out. But it's now in the sun, so hopefully that'll help with its issue. Now I do believe we uh ooh, garden hose is hot. So we just 
just got to water everything now. So you got to make sure because it's probably like dinner time right now. The hose has had the heat of the day. So you want to make sure that you're not watering your plants hot water, right? tomorrow. Along with, we're going to go into the vegetable garden tomorrow. Like I said, I need to uh, stock up on, on videos because we're going on a camping trip. I'm trying to stock up as many as I can. Okay, so that's all been thoroughly watered. And yes, I don't normally water at night. But when you're working in the garden and you're planting something, you need to. Because you don't want them to be all dried out and then, you know, it's not good. So when you are planting something, you always have to water it and soak it like really well. All right, and then which other, oh yeah, this one we gave nutrients to it. And you'll see in a week from now, you're gonna start seeing all new growth. And that's why you're not pulling it out, which will affect the roots. You are not cutting it really, really low, like I leave about six inches. In this one's case, it's more like a foot. 
you, you leave a fair amount. Six inches is good. That's what I was aiming for. And just keep watering it every day and you'll see it's going to start growing again. So this side of the garden is done. I don't think we're going to be planting anything else. It's just that one raspberry. I have to figure out what I want to do with it. Um, and we'll see how it reacts over the next week to being moved because it has a lot more sun there. Right, so other than that, this side of the garden is done. It's basically just water and the occasional fertilizing. Other than that, it's finished for the summer. All done for the summer. Got to do some trellises too, like the grapes. I need, still need to do the trellis for it. Um, the watermelon cantaloupe, it's going to need a trellis at some point. So those two trellis. The raspberry. That's it. Fertilize and water. All right, now on the vegetable side for tomorrow. There's weeding. There's checking the tomatoes, make sure they're all staked. Any side shoots are removed. The perennial bed, the stones, and plant those four plants. The two peppers over there have to be planted in something. Plus, I need to empty those four square ones and move the peppers. I still have some flowers right in there. I moved it over there. Those all have to be planted. And that'll be tomorrow's videos. And then we still have those pretty uh, trellises up against the tree over there, right there. There are some those um, trellises I bought. So it'd be nice to put them up somewhere in the garden. Maybe I'll put the big white one with the birds on it behind the chamomile. Anyways, we'll play with that tomorrow. All right, everybody, I will leave you here. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, remember, do what makes you happy, and everything else will fall into place. All right, see you on the next one. Bye for now.